Let me try this again. Maybe from the top. Because I forgot to say something. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a video all about my non cruelty free products in my collection. So I guess this is another collection video. But I wanted to share all my non cruelty free products because I have done a post in the fall about all my non cruelty free products. I made some mistakes in that post. I will admit that I, I wasn't 100% aware of which brands were and weren't cruelty free. I mostly searched on Logical Harmony, so now I have expanded my horizons in whatever you want to say. I've been digging into the brands on their pages. I have checked out Culture Free Kitten and more Logical Harmony and so on. So now I have a better understanding. And since I made the post in the fall, some of the products in my collection have now been non cruelty free because the brand started testing on animals. Which is sad. The first brand that I of course want to talk about is Wet n Wild, you know the scandal. I don't consider them cruelty free anymore. And Logical Harmony doesn't either and cruelty free kitten. Those products are in my, my non cruelty free collection now and Morphe as well. Because cruelty free kitten took it off her Culture free brand list. I think that is what I wanted to say. I have already filmed some of this once, <laughs> so I'm a little bit confused. I'm going to talk about all of these products in categories and tell you how many products I have in each category that are non culture free. I think that's the easiest. I don't think that I have a lot of brands here, and uh, I want to say, I just rem I just remembered. I wanted to say that. My collection is actually 85% cruelty free and that is quite amazing if you think about I wanted to go cruelty free because that means I don't have a lot of products in my collection that are cruelty free. There are a lot of eyeshadows and lip products so that is definitely going to slow the progress of me going 100% cruelty free. I started the 100% mission cruelty free project pan that I'm doing with a bunch of ladies. You should check it out. All of these items will be featured in that video or series Project Pan Collab at some point. But I wanted to share it all as a collection video. So I only have one setting spray in my collection and it is of course not cruelty free. It is the Rimba London Insta Fix and Go Turn 1 Primer and Setting Spray. I'm so so about setting spray. So I don't have the need to have this exact setting spray in my collection. So I'm fine with using it up. It is in a project though. So. Then I have one primer in my collection that is non culture free. It is the one from Max Factor. I have talked a lot about it lately. So I'm not going to ramble on about that primer anymore. I think you may be sick of it. <laughs> I have two foundations in my collection that aren't culture free. One of them is from Women London. It is the Lasting Finish 24. 25 hour nude foundation with the white cap and then we have a Maybelline BB cream and yeah Maybelline is not cruelty free. I have two concealers in my collection that aren't cruelty free. One of them is from Maybelline. It is the Instant Anti-Age the Eraser Eye Concealer and then the other one is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Really really sad that these aren't cruelty free because they're really 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 good and Maybelline has just launched two new lighter shades in this range and the Fit Me range and I'm so sad about them not going to ultra free. Maybe they will. You never know. Cover Girl did it. So why not? Maybelline. Yeah, well, and then When Wild is another story. They went the other direction, apparently. So let's take the colored base products because I believe I don't have any more here besides me. Don't think so. So let's take bronzers. I have two. I have one from Bossoir. It is the bronzing powder. This is limited packaging, but it is formed like a chocolate bar, you know? I think you know it if you are an old YouTube watcher. And then I have a Frank bronzer because I have made... Oh, I have three bronzers. This is a Frank bronzer for a Manicat Art duo, small duo. And then I have a small bit of an Urban Decay bronzer in it. And then I have this top part of this Wet n Wild bronzer in it as well. I have a whole new bronzer. This is a shimmery bronzer because the Manicat Art duo bronzer was shimmery. 
my three bronzers. Let me show the Win Wild one again. It is from that uh, Dolce de Leche, Leche whatever. <laughs> I don't know Spanish. Duo, you know, the face palette duo. It's really, really nice. I'm very disappointed about Win Wild right now. Um, I have six blushes that are culture free. One of them is from MAC and this is a pro long wear blush in Make Your Mine. It's a really really nice one. It is a darker blush right here. And then I have five from Benefit. One of them is a small size of the Benefit California. It's a beautiful one and I'm really really happy now that I only picked up a small deluxe size of that blush. Really happy about that. My four pants right here are also deluxe sizes, so they aren't full size either. Or maybe they are, I really, I don't know actually. It is Curly Step Dandelion, Rocket Tour and Sugar Bomb. I'm really, I'm, I'm forgetting items right here, I just realized. I'm missing some eyeshadows, but I will get those when I come to it. Let us take brow products. I have one. It is a Maybelline New York Master Brow Pro Palette in Soft Brown. It is looking like this. I don't know if they make it anymore, but it is this one. So there's a wax and a brow powder and a brow highlight. So I will be happy to use this, actually. I really like those items. Oh, I forgot highlighters. In the fall, I didn't have any non cruelty free highlighters. And then uh, when Wild came along and uh, just gave me two highlighters that were not cruelty free. Well, I got these from Amanda sometime last year. I actually don't remember. This is the crown of my canopy. It is the Mega Glow Highlighters. And this is a darker rose gold shade. It is beautiful. Then we have the Gold Bar Highlighter from Wen Wild. I was really excited when she wanted to give this to me because I have been wanting that for a long time. Should we take eyeliners? Because I only have one. It is from Rome London. It is the Exaggerate retractable eyeliner. It's just a brown one. I have another eyeliner. I always forget this eyeliner when I do an inventory and just in general when I'm talking about my eyeliners it is my only gel eyeliner. So it is one from L'Oreal. Came comes with this gold lid. These are some Maybelline colored tools. I'm sure you know them already. They were really popular. I can't find them in Denmark anymore though. This color is called Permanent Taupe and I have used this up before and then I bought it again because I really really liked it in my eyebrows. Maybe this is drying up. I think it has pulled away from the edge over here. But yeah, I haven't touched it since I rebought it last year or the year before. Oh god. Well. This is a cool tone brown shade. It's very cool tone, like a grayish color, but it looks really, really nice in your brows. So it performs in your brows like the Anastasia, the brow thing. And then I have metallic pomegranate. I love this color so much. It is so beautiful. And then we have Creme de Nude, which is a very yellow toned eye base. Two single shadows that are cruelty free. One is from MAC. It is called Witch. I swear this lightning is so awful and then so let's just talk about my other single eyeshadow it is from L'Oreal it is the infallible eyeshadow this is the product it comes with this stopper thing and then it is just this coral orangey color I have considered decluttering it because it's not pigmented anymore I have some single shadows from Benefit as well. These are from a holiday collection, so you might notice that one. It is in the project. But yeah, these are some single shadows I have. So Call Me Buff is the matte one. Then we have Nude Swings, which is a rose gold nude one. And then Soap It Off, which is a taupey brown. Some other cool toned eyeshadows are from this Maybelline Quad. And I'm really happy that I don't have that many <laughs> eyeshadows from Maybelline because it's not the best eyeshadow formula out there. But these quads and this especially is called Smoky Eyes Natural Smokes. You can't get it in Denmark, so I got it from Germany. But this is a really, really nice palette. The last two 
eyeshadow palette we're going to talk about and the last eyeshadows in my collection that are in cruelty free are my two morphe palettes it's so sad but i have the 35k and the 35om i'm panning this this year these are not cruelty free and if you don't know them i will show you them the om palette is all matte and the k1 is shimmers and mattes yeah they're huge freaking huge so they will take forever and a lifetime for me to go through <sighs> yeah i'm really sad about morphe right now but then the mission 100 percent cruelty free pretty pen will be never ending because it takes a lifetime to go through a morphe palette especially that big then we have lip products and nail polish left. Let's take an easy one. It is the lip balm from Yves Rosé. I really, really like this lip balm and I like Yves Rosé as a brand. And I'm so surprised and sad that they aren't quote free because they're very natural and they have really nice products. Let's talk about lip liners. I have six from eBay. It is the ones with the metallic cap and then I have one from Maybelline. It is in the Gigi Hadjid um, collab line. I have two gloss sticks from Max Factor. It is the Color Elixir Giant Pen Sticks. One gloss for Maybelline, of course. It is the Color Elixir Lip Lacquer. It's this orangey one. I have one from Max Factor as I just mentioned then a quarter free this is a beautiful i'm so sad this is one of my favorite lipsticks formulas i'm so sad max factor is not good free ah. this is a beautiful red color they're so so nice these are called color elixir as well i don't know why they are all called that but they are i have one lipstick from mac and this is the brave color a beautiful mauve nude absolutely stunning and it's really really nice <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's me being sad here then i have one from estee Lauder, the big buying brand of them all and this is a pure color pink berry lipstick i would love every single bit of this this is so nice and if you saw my roulette pan collab you know why it's so special to me i have three room london lipsticks Two of them are from the Kate Moss line and they are called 37 and 38. It's a red and a nude. Really, really nice lipsticks. And then I have a, I don't know this line. Rosetto lipstick? I don't know. It's an amazing formula. It's really, really good, really creamy. And it is in the color 700 Naughty Nude. This is another kind of a dupe for the MAC Brave so I will not miss the shade well a little bit so I'm not going to run low of the shade at least and the last four lipsticks are from Maybelline two of them are from the Gigi Hadjid collab and the other two are the color sensational lipsticks those two are in the color tantalizing taupe and naked brown and GG collab is called Erin and Tara, I think. A nude and a dark shade. I think that is all the makeup and then I have five nail polishes that aren't cruelty free that I want to show you guys in the end because I included it in the first non cruelty free makeup photo collection I think I did in the fall. Of course I have a Maybelline nail polish. It is from the Color Show line. It is a black, like I have on today. I need to redo them, I know. I have heard good things about the Maybelline line, so I'm really excited to try it, but it's sad that I have no possibility to buy it again. Another one that I only have one of is from OPI. And this is, it's called Nail Lacquer. It is a dark color. I love my dark colors for nails. Just think that is the prettiest on me. Susie skis in the Pioneers. And the last three are from Essie. One of them I'm panning, one of them I am wearing right now. It is of course a black one. It is called Licorice. Then I have Forever Yummy, which is a beautiful red color. This polish is called Snake It Up, mostly because of the pattern you can get from the magnet on the top. I have tried it once and it worked, but 
I didn't get it to be complete, so I have to try again. But it's a beautiful mm, navy dark color. So that is all my non cruelty free products. I'm really sorry for the lightning. I can't do anything about it. I don't want to switch on my fake lightning because it's really nice outside. So I, I felt silly for turning on the fake lightning. So I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. And until my next video, please take care and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love for you to stay. <laughs> so yeah, take care until my next video.